In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write a blog with ChatGPT that's going to be very high quality and it's going to bring you organic traffic to your website, helping you rank your website higher, getting you more sales or more leads, or whatever the purpose of your website is. Using this strategy alone, many of our blog's clients are getting about 96 clicks per day and that's just after two to three months of them being live. Some of them are getting more, some of them a little bit less, but that's one blog and we're writing at least one blog a day. Imagine what 30 blogs getting 95 clicks a day would do to your business. That's a lot of traffic that is going to turn into conversions. That's what we're going through today. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I am an AI powered SEO specialist and I run an online community that is free called the AI Ranking School Community, where we teach people how to use and leverage these AI tools to maximize your search engine optimization. And we even teach you some cool automations to make your work a little bit lighter. In the classroom section, we have a little content automation section there that's a lot of fun. If you wanna be a part of that and get all the free resources that we'll go through in this video, I'll leave a link in the video description below. The type of blog that we'll, write, we'll be writing today will look like this, where you're gonna have a feature image, you're gonna have an alt tag for all those images, which often gets missed. It's going to be really high quality answering the user's search intent. We'll get to what that is in a second. It's going to have backlinks providing really good resources and references to people, another SEO component that often gets missed. We even have illustrations. AI is gonna do that for us for free, don't worry. We have more images, and at the end, we even have an FAQ section, which is really, really good for blogs. Firstly, we need to understand what makes a really high quality blog. Google's very clear about this and they don't mind if you write a blog with AI. What they do care about is the quality of the blog. Is it answering the user's search intent? And what is that exactly? Well, let me show you. I've got two different searches around the same topic here. I've got cat training and then I have high quality cat food. Those are two different search intents and I know why because if I look at the search results here for cat training, Google gives me right away what I want without even going to the link itself. It's grabbed it from this blog and it knows that I want information on how to train a cat. It gives me right away the nine cat training tips. That means I have an informational intent. I'm looking for information on how to train a cat. Instead, if I go for high quality cat food, it's giving me products right away. It understands that it's a transactional intent that I want. I want products, I wanna buy something, I wanna transact. That's the different search intent. We are writing today to answer this search intent, informational, particularly with cat training. When you do a search, particularly with cat training, we're gonna use a few other tools to ChatGPT that it's just gonna add extra value to our blog and it's gonna help it rank really well and get you more organic traffic. That tool is Perplexity, which is a research tool that I highly recommend, and Napkin AI. I'll leave links to all the resources below, don't worry, and yes, they're all free, particularly how we're going to use them. So first, I need to do a little bit of research, and I want to find what are the frequently asked questions that somebody's asking about a topic that I want to write, and then I'm going to answer that question in the blog, and that's where it's going to add value to the reader, because I'm answering a question that they're asking. If I do a search and I scroll down, I often find people also ask section, which is really, really handy. What people don't know that if you click down on these arrows, every time I click down, I get more and more questions. These essentially can turn into more blogs that you can write so you never run out of content ideas. Another cool and easy tool to use that's free is people also ask. You put your keyword there in the country that you're writing for and it gives you this really, really cool mind map with all the frequently asked questions that people are asking about that topic. I'll leave links to that below as well. Really cool option to use. But within Google, I'm going to choose this one, Are Cats Easy to Train? I wanna write a blog that answers that question and it's really high quality. I'm going to go to a brand new Google Doc and just place in my title here, Are Cats Easy to Train? blog and I'm going to place it here and I'm going to place it in the title as well and start formatting from the get-go. That's going to be a title and it's going to be here. Perfect. So what I want to go to is to perplexity and I've already done this for you so I don't want to waste a little time with this blog and you're going to do the following prompt. You're going to ask it. I'm writing a blog that answers and then you're going to insert your question. In this instance, are cats easy to train? 
I want you to answer a question, this question in detail and provide me with the resources where you got the information so that I can use it in my blog. I hit enter, it should do its thing. Perplexity is fantastic for this. The reason why we want to do this is because we are starting to find the good information which we're going to provide ChatGPT with and it's going to write our blog and it's going to be very high quality. You can copy all of this research by placing this little copy button here and I'm going to paste it in another Google Doc just so I've got that research there ready for me. Now I'm going to start writing my blog but before I do I'm not just going to type away and get GPT to write it for me. I'm going to prime GPT. How do I do this? Well. Inside our community in the prompts, we've got a very, very cool prompt that turns ChatGPT into an excellent copywriter. And this makes ChatGPT write like more, more like a human and it doesn't give you the standard GPT-isk writing, which is really good. It's called the Sparkle Copywriter. This prompt is not mine. The creator is a gentleman called Stun Spot Prompts a really, really smart guy. I've leave the links to the resources below. He makes incredible prompts that really help you do your work very well. This is one that I use often, but all credits for the prompt really go to him. You can access this prompt in the community below, but if you wanna learn more about that, I suggest you check that out. I'm gonna copy this prompt that I've got here. Go back to my ChatGPT account. And for this, I'm just using GPT 4.0. That's more than enough. You don't have to use the new model 01. I'm going to paste that and you'll see that it gives me an answer that says, got it, Sparkle, the content generation specialist. So it's taken on that persona, fantastic. That's what we want. Now we're going to tell, ask it to write only the structure of our blog using the research from Perplexity. Here's the prompt, it's quite easy now. I want you to create a structure of a blog that is titled, Are Cats Easy to Train? Or in your instance, you put your question that you're answering. The blog will be answering that question in detail. I want you to use the research that I will provide below. Only create the structure of the blog first. We want to create the structure for a couple of things. I'm going to then grab the research that I've gotten from Perplexity. I'm going to go to ChatGPT and I'm going to paste that there. I want to only create the structure first of all so that I've got some control over it. I don't want to start writing it right away. Uh, that way, I, if I want to change it and tell it I don't like this structure, I can instead of having it to write the whole thing. And also, ChatGPT isn't the best at word count. If I get it to write this in one shot, I don't like the output of it mostly and it's often too short. Blog length doesn't really matter in terms of quality, but I do prefer having a bit of control to it. So now, perfect. I have the whole layer, understanding cats, uh, training techniques, trainable cat breeds, benefit of training cats, and a conclusion. Great, I like it. Now I'm gonna get it to write the first two sections. That's the introduction and section one. I'm gonna write it in the message here. Now write the following sections only. And paste that there and see what it's come up with. I've got the introduction, fantastic. See, this is the difference of placing a prompt like Sparkle into GPT before you write. The, it sounds a lot better already. When most people think of training pets, dogs often comes to mind as the ideal candidate. This has led to a common misconception that cats are difficult to, to or impossible to train. It just doesn't sound like an AI wrote this at all. I really like this already. I'm going to copy the first section that it's written, go back to my blog and just paste it all here. I can delete this line, I don't really like it. This is why I like to copy and paste it because my blog is already being formatted. You see here section one, if I take a look up here, that's a H3, that's great. It's already formatting the structure. I am gonna change that to a H2 though. I think that should be a little bit better. And this one here, I'm going to change to H3. I'm going to just put the keyword here of cat's natural instinct and behavior. So I'm just naturally adding that keyword from an SEO perspective that is a little bit better. I don't want to force it into everything, but that seemed like a good place to do it. I'm gonna go back to my chat GPT and find the other sections that it needs to write. So this time it needs to write section two and section three. So each time I'm just telling it, now write the following sections and I'm pasting the sections that it provided me within the structure just to reinforce which structure we're keeping because I'm happy with that and that's the one that I want it to stick to. It's all about having a little bit more control on how it's writing. Great, I like section two and I like section three. 
just going to go through this and format this accordingly. I want that as a H2 and these as a H3 instead of a H4. This doesn't really matter too much, but I want a consistent heading structure and it will help Google understand what your blog is about, which are the most important sections of the blog. It's just really, really good for SEO formatting, something that often gets missed out. Now I've got my last section, I believe. Uh, yep, perfect. I've got section four and the conclusion. So while it's writing that stuff, I can do two things at once and I can go back to the research that I found with perplexity. And I've got here a couple of citations, a couple of links that I want to use as outbound links, things that I'm referencing. This is telling Google that I'm putting the reader above all. If I want to give him better information, if he wants to read more information about where I'm getting my stuff, here's the link. Google really likes this and a lot of people don't do it. I'm going to go back to my blog and I've got here top 10 easy to train cat breeds. So it's about the cat breed sections here. Certain cat breeds are known for being more receptive to training. I'm going to select that whole long keyword section there and link to that blog, adding value to that blog now. So I'm doing really good things for SEO. Now my final sections are done. And now I can place that here. I'll just format this like we have the other ones. Now my blog is taking a little bit of shape, but there's a couple of more things that I need to do. Obviously I need to add some images in here. So I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT. I like using the DALI custom GPT. You can really use anything, but this just makes a little bit of life easier. And I'm gonna ask it to do a water painting photo of a person training their cat. Make sure that it's 16 by nine. I prefer that frame. I prefer that aspect ratio. I'm gonna see what it comes out with. And I've got two really nice images. I think I prefer this one here. The only thing is that DALI makes WebPs. That is a great file that you want for your website because it's light making your website load quicker. But for this instance, I just need to turn it into a PNG because files or Google Docs doesn't like WebP files, but that's okay. For this example, that's quite all right. And now I've got my feature image. With the feature image, there's a couple of things. There's one thing that I need to do and that is create the alt tag. But the alt tag is kind of secretly already generated for me. I just need to find it. In the DALI image, when I click this and I click this information button, it kind of gives a description of what the image is. A watercolor painting of a, of a person training a cat. The person is gently holding a treat, guiding the cat to perform a trick or a gesture. That's perfect. That is the perfect alt tag description for that image because that's what it is. I don't have to think about it. I can go back to my blog. I'm going to go alt tag and just paste that there, just making it a little bit smaller so that I can know that that's not part of the blog, but that is in fact an alt tag. The alt tag where you place that will depend on which website builder that you have. You can Google that and find that information fairly easily. And now I want one more image. I know there was a section about cat breeds. So I'm going to try to use the same style here and just change this prompt a little bit. Go a watercolor painting of different cat breeds in a row. And again, the same aspect ratio. It doesn't have to be 16 by nine. I just prefer that. I think it looks nicer on blogs, but if you want it square, by all means, just have them square. Perfect. This one is a bit funny. I'm going to use this image here. It looks like a watercolor painting. That is just what I wanted with some Weird cats as well. I'm gonna go back to my blog and place the image just here below the section that talks about the many different cat breeds. And then do the same thing, place the alt tag. And I'm gonna go back to the image and find the secret alt tag here. Just grab the first section, the watercolor painting of different cat breeds lined up in a row. That's enough of a descriptive alt tag for that image. I'm just gonna format this. Perfect, and put it now. Okay, now I want to do one, a couple of more things that are gonna add even more value to your blog and going to make it really nice to read and it's gonna rank really well. Or you wanna choose a section within your blog that you think can be turned into an illustration. We're going to use Napkin AI. I'll leave a link to this below. It's a free AI tool for now as of the time of this recording. 
what you're gonna do is paste the section that we copied, select the whole thing and press this button here, the auto spark button. It's going to read that, understand it and create an illustration from that. But we can choose the illustration style that we want. You'll see that in a second. So it's given us this type of illustration, this one here, this other one here. I like this one. And then I can choose different styles within that style. If I want also, if I don't like any aspects of it, I can actually change the colors of certain things. But for now, I'll leave it as it is. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to download as a PNG. Such a handy tool, I really like it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, and I'm going to go back here and underneath positive reinforcement, I'm gonna place my really cool illustration. This is just adding a lot of differentiation to your blog. It's not so boring. It's not just text. It's, it's got text, beautiful images, uh, imagery, illustrations. It's backlinking. It's doing all the right things. There is one final thing that we want to do that's going to add just a little bit more value to your blog. And that's what it's all about. I've got the GPT where I created my the blog content. I'm just going to ask it to write a five question FAQ section about the blog that I can put at the end. That's it. Hit enter. And because it knows the whole conversation or the whole blog that we've written, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to give it more information. And this just also adds value to the reader by obviously answering frequently asked questions. But if the reader stays a little bit longer reading this blog, it's giving Google positive signals that someone is reading this blog for a long while and that is something that you want to give to Google, those positive signals. So now I've got a blog that is adding value to the reader because it's answering frequently asked questions as we saw in Google uh, also ask. We're answering our cats easy to train. We provided it the research from perplexity to create a structure of this. So we know that it's well researched. It's got a nice illustration, so it's not so boring. I've got an, it's got some external backlinking. The other thing that you want to do is internally link to another one of your pages within your website. It's got some more images. We've got the alt tags for the images already. And we've even got an FAQ section. Beautiful. This blog is ready to go. This is going to do really, really well. With that strategy alone, if you do maybe five blogs a week or even three blogs a week for two to three months, I promise you, you will see the result. Really simple, but really effective strategy that's going to separate you from the rest. You can also automate a lot of this content generation that still adds value to the reader. It's part of the things that we teach within our AI ranking community. Again, I'll leave a link to that below. If you really found a lot of value in this video, all I ask is you give me a subscribe and a like. And if you wanna be part of the community, come check it out. I'd love for you to say hi in there. If not, keep watching the videos on YouTube and tell me what other tutorials you'd like to see below. Thanks for watching.